I'm standing here with Bella. I'm on trail 200 of, um, I don't know, Piwesta Mountain. I'm gonna switch flip the camera around if I can figure out how to do it um, but you can see behind me all that's Phoenix you can see the city of Phoenix and then behind me is the summit of um, Paista I don't know how you Paista uh, mountain pets aren't allowed up there but um, anyway I'm just decreeing in the name of Jesus on this day. On this day, as God has given me the breath of life, He has given me life through His Son, Jesus Christ. And I decree on this day that as for me and my house, we will not just serve the Lord, we will know the Lord. I decree the goodness of God. And I thank God for His Son, Jesus, that uh, uh, obliterated every sin in my life, every shame, every guilt, every spirit of religion, every spirit of insecurity, condemnation, low self-esteem, low self-worth, and the name of Jesus has been obliterated, obliterated by the blood of Jesus at the cross of Jesus Christ. I decree this over my life from this day forward on October 18th, 2019, as I stand here with God as my witness and the angel of witnesses that are encamped about me and the power of the Holy Spirit in me, that the, I decree the authority that I have been given through Jesus Christ. There's so much that Jesus did for us that is crying out in our souls to stop believing the lies of Satan in the name of Jesus. No more to this, no more, no more, no more. The blood of Jesus obliterated, obliterated shame, obliterated your sin, my sin, and the sin of my household, my children and my children's children. Acts 2.39, God who promised is faithful. His promises are for me and my children and my children's children and those who are far off. I decree this over my life in the name of Jesus. I decree this over my family, over my household, over my children, my children's children, my grandchildren, and generations to come in the name of Jesus. And I decree that the blood of Jesus has wiped out every single curse from my household, from my generation, from my uh, children's father's generation, from my parents' generations, all the way down to Adam, all the way from my grandchildren's uh, fathers and mothers, grandchildren, I mean grandparents, in the name of Jesus. I decree there's no more curse because the blood of Jesus. Jesus hung on that cross and took on my curse. He took on your curse in the name of Jesus. And I decree no more, no more bondage, no more slavery to shame, no more slavery to, to religion or legalism in the name of Jesus. No more um, Egypt mindset, no more slavery mindset, no more condemnation in the name of Jesus. God did it through his son, Jesus. Read 2 Corinthians 5, 21. He made, he, Jesus, who knew no sin, took on my sin and your sin, your past, present, and future. We've got to stop being sin conscious. Jesus wiped it out. He wiped out the requirements of the law that we couldn't get, keep. No more trying to keep the law. No more self-efforts. Focusing on Jesus and his obedience in the name of Jesus. I decree this in the name of Jesus because it is the truth. It is the very word of God, which is sharper than any two-edged sword and cuts to the lies cuts to the to the chase cuts through all the darkness that we've been living in and believing as believers in Christ it is time to take up and live in our inheritance that Jesus paid a price for us to live and I'm decreeing this right now in the name of Jesus God is for us so who can be against us in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray the power of the Holy Spirit we have that Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit read Romans 8 28 Romans 8 in Jesus name God himself did it for us hallelujah that is praiseworthy 
thank you. We need to bring, shout praises to God for his love. It was all moved by his love. His love that is more powerful than the sin in your life. It's more powerful than the spirit of religion in Jesus' name. And I decree it broken off, off of um, my household and your household in Jesus' name. I bind the spirit of um, rebelliousness in Jesus' name. The spirit of pride, no more. Jesus obliter obliterated it in G by his blood at the cross. And now we're raised to new life. We're a new creation. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. We're made new through the blood of Jesus. Jesus did it. It's time now we go live it and live being more than a conqueror. Live being the victim. And excuse me, the victor. No more victim mindset in Jesus' name. No more woe is me. Look what so and so's done to me. No more of that in Jesus' name. We are victorious through Christ Jesus because God loves you so much. He sent Jesus and Jesus did the work that we couldn't do. I decree this over my life, over my finances, over relationships, over a soul, my mind, my will, and my emotions. And I speak life into you in Jesus' name. I decree the goodness of God will lead you to repentance and say, oh, that I will receive the love of God that he freely gives us through his son, Jesus, and imparts to you the power of the Holy Spirit that will help you in our weaknesses. He's interceding for you and I. Romans 8, Read that whole chapter. Oh my goodness. Nothing, nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Hallelujah. The wind is blowing. The, the wind of the Holy Spirit of love of God is hovering, pouring out in the lives of people who are saying yes to Jesus. Okay, yes. I, I answer the call that God has called. God chose you and I in Jesus' name. Romans 8 says it. God chose us. He did the work through his son Jesus. He himself made you and I the righteousness. We're in right standing with God. God's favor is over you now. Hallelujah. Let's go live it and be more than conquerors in the mighty name of Jesus and spread the goodness of God in the land of the living. We will see it. We will see the hand of God in the land of the living. Our glorious heavenly Father who loves us so much. And God is our judge who judges you and I righteous through his son Jesus Christ and the blood it screams out on our behalf the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus speaks on our behalf and speaks whenever the enemy accuses you or anyone accuses you no the blood of Jesus speaks on my behalf he's interceding the blood of Jesus did the work let's give a shout out and a hallelujah and a praise be to God for giving us life and didn't wipe us out Two thousand over three thousand years ago, but he gave was faithful to his promise and sent his son Jesus. He made a way for you and I to live life victoriously. Now let's go lay a hold of it and walk in the love of God poured out through his son Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. You're more than conquerors. No demon in hell will prevail in your life. Stop focusing on the demons. Stop focusing on what they're doing. They're rendered powerless. Considering when they match up to the blood of Jesus, they cannot stand in the name of Jesus. And you're God's beloved son and daughter whom he loves and is well pleased. And I will shout this out. And I will, I will shout it out and declare it out and decree the word of the Lord. God who is faithful, who's promised. He promised. He is faithful. Focus on Jesus and trust in your heavenly Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody say hallelujah and amen. Praise God.